Well, we're right into our series on the nine deadly sins that small business owners make when it comes to their record keeping. And today we're looking at deadly sin number seven, which is not recording enough information about transactions. When many small business owners visit their accountant, they bring their bank statements, their receipts, and even their computer records, but what they leave behind is their memory. This uh, deadly sin trips over even some of the most diligent small business owners at times. You must record enough information about a transaction so that anyone, you or anyone else, can easily understand the transaction that occurred. In fact, under tax law, you're obligated to keep records that sp specify and explain all transactions. This includes any documents that are relevant for the purposes of working out your tax liabilities. Now, in the old days, many people struggled with this as they forgot to write the payee's name or the amount paid on their check stubs. Now, you could find out the amount paid when your bank statement came in, but often you still had no idea who you'd paid. And the only way to find out was to go back to the bank and pay them some money for the information. Of course, it's quite different these days when most of your transactions are done online. But having said that, you can still be caught out without all the right information when it comes time to review your records with your accountant. I don't know if you've come across this particular scenario, but I certainly have. And it always seems to happen, Murphy's Law I guess, when it's the most difficult to find the receipt. So, imagine your accountant is doing your end of year accounts and tax returns and asks you what an amount of $2,000 you spent in July of the previous year was for. You probably wonder why she needs to know and you don't actually remember what the expense was for. So now you've got to go off and try and track down the invoice. You know it was for $2,000 and you know you paid it to an office supplies company, but what on earth was it for? The accountant tells you she needs it to find out whether what you purchased was tax deductible or whether you need to depreciate it. About an hour later you finally locate the invoice and find out it was for a replacement photocopier. The truth is, if you just recorded this information straight into your accounting program, you could have avoided the problem altogether, saving the hour of time that you've just spent looking for the receipt and the stress. The Cashflow Manager Bookkeeping Program has a details section where you can record an explanation of the transaction so you can refer to it later. Make sure you record this information while it's still fresh in your mind so you can save time and anxiety if your accountant does ask you about it. Not recording information about transactions eats up your accountant's time too, which means it's costing you money. And what about if a tax inspector comes calling? The last thing you want to do is get questions about your transactions and tax liabilities that you can't easily answer. The easier you can make the process, the better. Another issue that I've often encountered is insurance payments where the type of insurance has not been recorded. Simply writing down the name of the property or the person and the type of insurance cover can save you a lot of time here as well. And I'm sure that you can find other examples, but what I've learned is this. If the transaction wouldn't be immediately obvious to someone who doesn't know your business, record the extra details. The result of taking this small step is hours saved with your accountant, a stress-free end of financial year, and no worries if you happen to be audited. I'm Wayne Bergen from Cashflow Manager.